I'm Filippo Voltaggio and we're here on the red carpet for the Napoleon Hill Foundation's movie Three Feet from Gold. And we have here John Asaroff, who you all know, a man who needs no introduction in this day and age, which goes to show that the times have changed where you have become the celebrity. And this is really exciting. You know him from The Maybe Secret. Maybe in my own mind. Maybe in my own mind. <laughs> in a lot of people's minds. So I have to ask you, every time I hear you speak, and just like today, you know, the thought crosses my mind that there might be somebody in the audience that says, yeah, that happened to him, or that's an anomaly. What do you say to that? Well, what I say to anybody who says that's an anomaly, it usually is somebody that really hasn't done the studying and the research of how that anomaly happened. And it's usually somebody who looks at somebody else and says that could happen for them, or it might happen for them, but it's not possible for me. And that's actually the first part of the challenge, is to get out of your own way and to stop believing what you believe just long enough to listen to new information, to listen to new ideas about how things operate in our universe, how our brain operates, why we do what we do, why don't we do the things we know we should do, and is there an easier answer? And no differently than, you know, we used to think the Earth was flat or that the Earth was in the center of the universe. With Ladies knowledge, we were able to transcend just the knowledge minutes. and move to a higher so level of understanding and being. Is that the hardest part, though, is suspending your disbelief? Yeah, the hardest part uh, is that only because we get so accustomed to our way being the right way or our experiences being right. And so most people aren't prepared to let that go even for a little bit of time because it challenges their identity. Because our beliefs and our values and our habits become our identity. And if we're suspending that, then what does it say about us? Well, am I not good enough? Am I not smart enough? Have all my years of experience not been good enough? And it has nothing to do with being good enough or smart enough. It has to do with being open enough to look at a different way of seeing things. And then there's a wonderful saying that says, when we change the way we look at something, the thing that we look at changes. Right? Wayne Dyer said that, not me. And, and you know, John, I know a lot of people that know you, and I've interviewed a lot of people from The Secret and all this, and, and they all say that there's hard work. I mean, and God knows you have worked very hard. And so you're not suggesting it's like it was just this bing, bing, bing. You're saying that this is, at the end of the day, this is possible. And, and, and what about the steps in between? Well, it just depends on what the goals are. If somebody wants to earn $100,000 a year, it's a little bit different than earning $10 million, right? So the thinking is different, the perceptions are different, the behaviors are different, the leverage points are different. But it's all possible for people who are committed to choosing a vision, getting the big enough why they want to achieve that vision, and then what are the skills you need to learn? What are the strategies you need to learn? Or what are the strategies or skills that you need to have somebody else apply while you manage that. So you don't have to be the one doing the work, but as the person who has a big vision, you need to find out in order to get from A to B, what are the steps to do that? And you know, the universe is brilliant. And it says, you know, when you pray, move your feet. <laughs> ah, when you pray, move your feet. That's really it. That's from the Quakers. They said, you know, praying is great, you know, and God provides, but also move your feet. It's kind of like uh, any farmer. If a farmer just plants, but doesn't do anything other than the planting, the chances of getting a harvest are not very good. Because you've got to till the soil, you've got to give it nutrients, you've got to take care of it, depending on the outside environmental factors. Well, guess what? How is our life any different? Depending on the outside environmental factors, such as the economy, we have to innovate and modify what we're doing, our strategies. And if we keep doing the same thing over and over again, they'll work for short periods of time. But we know that everything changes. Nothing stays the same. You know, this, uh, this notion that I like things just the way it is, is not accurate. So we need to remember that change is nature's only constant, and we need to change with it. John, a couple of years ago, I watched The Secret and I thought, I want to have a show where I interview people like that. As a matter of fact, I'd like to interview him. And now we're here on Life Changes and I'm getting to interview you. Such a pleasure.